Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Transcend with M. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you who listened to our first episode and provided me with feedback on how to improve. I really loved the engagement and even though I felt a little fear on releasing it, you made it, um, you made it easy. Um, you made me feel you know, more confident about it and more confident about the concept and more confident about having a voice, right? This is, this is not for me to be famous. This is not none of that. I kind of just want to be able to offer some knowledge and you know, have a conversation with all of you uh, and provide uh, some good, valuable insight of whatever topic we talk about. With that being said, last week we focused on the topics of, you know, fitting in, finding your voice, breaking barriers, and I thought maybe a good follow-up to that will be to chat about vulnerability. Vulnerability is consciously choosing to expose your emotions. It's freely expressing your thoughts, feelings, and opinions regardless of what others think of you. It is a very hard thing to do. Vulnerability is choosing to be exposed to negative feedback and rejection. So recently, I was listening to Dr. Brene Brown. Whoever doesn't know who she is, you really have to get into that because she is like a genius when it comes to vulnerability and shame you know she has dedicated most of her research to this subject it is amazing the things that you kind of go oh oh shit that was that was that okay i got it so what resonated with me the most was that vulnerability can and will shape your life in ways you didn't think possible. I discovered this to be very true, and I'll explain why. I've been going through a very big transformation during the past five weeks. Um, For a period of a year or so, I went through a process of experiencing all sorts of tests, you know, patience, leadership, friendships, motherhood, marriage, etc., etc. It was one test after another if it wasn't at work it was at home and it wasn't at home it was the family and it wasn't the family it was the friend so it was like a cycle a cycle where I got so into that I totally forgot what was I here to do who I am what's happening right like who are you and where did you go kind of thing but the biggest and most significant test that I had was when I had to ask myself these questions you know is this really where you want to be is this really who you are is it really worth it are you doing this for you or are you doing it to please others and that was my aha moment I was like well everything I'm doing I'm doing for everybody else but I'm not doing it for myself hence I am exhausted I have no energy I have no passion I'm just doing 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 I wake up upset I go to bed upset so let me tell you that when you hit rock bottom and identify yourself and you become vulnerable and accepting of your faith and worthiness because that's a really tough thing to do when you accept that it's nothing that can stop you from there so the reason i'm telling you this is because i had to become vulnerable and truthful with myself and others around me in order to be able to move on and make necessary changes in my life that was preventing me from growing as a person, as a leader, as an individual, as an employee, whatever you want to call it. And I was 
failing myself because I didn't want to be vulnerable. I didn't want to say or accept that that was not for me. I didn't want to be that person that say, Monica, you can do this no more. So by being vulnerable at home and the workplace, which meant having very, very difficult conversations and making very, very difficult decisions, today I can say that vulnerability saved me. So being vulnerable at home and at the workplace, for me, it means having a healthier relationship where candid feedback is not taken for granted And where is this room for feelings, right? You have to be able to be and and to be surrounded by those that can accept who you are and can accept and take a ride with you of vulnerability. There is no point of being vulnerable if everyone around you rejects it. However, however, It is completely up to you to make that change. So being able to understand the emotion and the consequence of every word, statement, decision, and criticism made just makes you stronger. And with you being stronger, you can make others stronger around you. So vulnerability does not come easy you need to believe in yourself you need to believe on your value it needs to have room for fear because without fear there is no courage and without courage you can't succeed so in order to become vulnerable I have you know and have better results as a leader as an employee as a wife as a husband as a brother Whatever it is that you are at that moment in time, wherever you are, you need to let go of any you know, ego and you need to let go of the fear of acceptance. You know, that question of do I fit in? And you have to break those barriers and show up as yourself and give it your 100% at all times. Because vulnerability starts with you. It doesn't start with others. And believe me, someone in this world will be willing to deal with your imperfect, beautiful, and vulnerable self at some point. Thank you once more for listening. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Transcend with M.